To function on a morning show like this means a lot of trips back to my little, well, it's not it's a so curate, true. it's something like that. Aren't people always asking Mystic you that? Coffee. How much coffee do you have to drink to get and up that early? Two, two cups. Of that is the magic morning. answer. Well, the National Coffee Association's recent survey found the number of Americans drinking a daily cup of coffee is at its highest level since 2012. But does your cup of joe have anything to offer other than that energy boost? If you're part of the 64% of Americans who drink coffee every day, there's good news. Coffee drinkers have a longer lifespan. A 2015 study found that coffee consumption was associated with up to a 15% reduction in the risk of death. And an article published by Harvard says coffee drinkers may have a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's, type 2 diabetes, gout, and liver cancer. It may also assist in your weight loss. Studies have shown that caffeine increases your metabolism, but if you're watching your waistline, skip the creamers and added flavors. Even a 20% reduction in calories will have effects on your health in terms of cutting down blood sugar, cutting down weight, uh, making you feel better. Creamers are loaded with calories and added sugar, so try flavoring your coffee with cinnamon or natural cocoa. So some research has also presented negative effects of coffee over the years, but most of these claims have been refuted. One concern is that drinking very hot beverages increases the risk of esophageal cancer. But Harvard researchers say most people are never going to drink it that hot to well, actually do some yeah, damage. Yeah, on a morning show in about 20 minutes, it's cold because, you know, you only drink so much. No. But we have to keep putting it down so we can be on television.